Uh, now we can actually visit the Samuel Institute. Some food, some materials. Uh, people help each other out here, sharing food and handing out meds. Or I could go here where I know that there is wood. There is some wood here, definitely, and components. That's a tough one. I might go here first because I know that I know for sure that there are things here that would be useful. I don't have um, a lockpick. All right, here are some things. One wood. I'll take it. <laughs> take what I can get. Nothing else here. Where did I leave the other wood? Ah, uh, it's locked. <laughs> here we go. I remember I left some here. Alright, books we can burn. Good. Some components. Still no wood, actually. I thought there was two wood that I left somewhere. It was probably on the other side. Damn, this place is really tall. Yes. I don't think I've been here. Uh, books. Good. They take up two spots though, why? Surely they're not that heavy. Now we should be able to check a bit more of like, if there are artifacts or anything around here. Take that, yeah. Don't need shell casings. So that guy's still there. I guess... Can we talk to him? I'm gonna take this down so then I can go through next time. If I need to. I probably won't even come back here though. Nothing here. Something there. Nice. Okay, I need to take that stuff. Get rid of that. Take the components. Um, I will... I don't think I need that. Take the wood. Nice. Okay. Don't need coffee. And one more wood. Should I take it over the electrical parts? Uh, probably. I need eight for a bed and that's seven. <laughs> Fantastic. Can I get through here? Nope. Is this the broken heater? Damn it. Okay. Well, that's all we can get. We did all right though. We've got a fair amount of wood. And books that we can burn. So we should be okay for today. Had a really good haul. 
Night was calm. Ruben is barely moving. The illness is killing him. He's terminally ill. Come on, dude. Painful to go back to all that I saw in the synagogue. Ah. Alright. Can I... I don't think I can make a bed, can I? Ah, oh, damn it. I can make this. But what's the point? He's very tired. He's very hungry, so... I have to feed him. And it's minus two degrees. <sighs> now he's just hungry. All right, let's burn all those books. Hey, we need to talk. Okay, that doesn't sound good. He's just gonna wait. Alright, hold on. I'll... Let me put on the heater first. Yeah, because it's a bit cold. Hold on. I'll put that one on one, and I'll put this on three. Okay. Good to see you. Can we talk? Oh, it's the same guy? Good to see you again. We're alive, but my collection has been damaged during a bombing. I don't know if I can keep the rest safe here. Join me at the museum. You'd be safer there and you could help me secure the exhibits. This is my home. And what about the man I'm taking care of? He's not well yet and he might not survive the way there. I brought you some meds and food for him. Oh, that's nice. I'll be waiting for you in the museum. Try to get there when you think you're ready. Oh, that's awesome. He brought us some meds and offered a place in her museum. But a trip like that can be risky at the moment. We could move there once my companion gets better. And with Milena's gift, that task should be easier. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Artworks you keep in your shed might be more precious than life. Our heritage is priceless. Never forget that. Okay. I think I'd rather be alive, though. Okay, so what did she gave us a canned food? No wood though. And two. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, let's give him this. He needs that. You will get better, Ruben. Just take some of these. Alright, on meds, awesome, that's really good, uh, I guess we'll finish, we'll finish going through this, I gotta collect those, that's awesome, it's good that they're done. Nice, so... Look at that, we've got five veggies. We have so much food. So much food. And see, you make four, and I could use one of them to make a fertilizer and make another four, although I don't have enough water. <laughs> That's all. I won't do it just yet, though. Alright. 
Alright. I'm surprised we made it through this so easily. Well, it took a long time, but... Alright, so we've got a light and water sculpture. Put it into a box. We've got a family photo album. And... Chita di Pogoren. In Vicina painting. Okay. Alright, so we gotta do two boxes then, because one of them is too big. Alright, so we've secured all of the stuff. Let's just have a quick look at it. Wow! Uh, ceremonial items. Cool! It's significant though. So they, they kind of show you which items you can get away with burning if you have to. Trying to make it, make you feel less guilty about it. Look at that. Eight fuel. Man. Alright. Still can't get up. Uh, I might gather a little bit of snow if I can. Just two. I don't want to get cold, but it is kind of useful. You can turn that into water. Although you need fuel and a filter I might just leave it like that for now or have a chat with him see if I can make him less sad my weed hurts badly when I was sneaking out from the synagogue a soldier saw me and started shooting I tried to reach our institute but the army was already there killing my people destroying our legacy I ran, bleeding and freezing in the snowstorm. I wandered through a forest. Okay. Next thing I remember was lying on this bed with you taking care of me. Okay. Gee, I hope he recovers. I really hope he recovers. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Chain shelter. So as soon as Ruben is feeling better, we can head over to the museum, but he's not yet. I think we have to go here, don't we? <sighs> yeah. Alright. Wait, let's have a look. Helping sharing. I don't think I'll bring anything. I just hope they have... A bit of wood, so I can sleep. It's so quiet here. It's probably a good thing. I'd rather have... Hey, what? Can I climb up? Oh, thank God. <laughs> That'd be terrible if I couldn't get in. Dead body. Alright, let's unblock. Something terrible happened here. Yeah, well we know what happened, because Ruben told us. Okay, so now we can head back out if we need to. There's food in the fridge, hopefully. Oh yeah, some good food there. Sounds like something down there. Is it a person or a rat? It's a rat. Come on, give me the wood. Yeah, two wood. We can make a bed. 
and sleep. I'm going to need to sleep tomorrow so badly. This looks like the toilet. Maybe find some more meds. It's open. It is open. There's nothing in here. Okay. More dead people. Yep. There's a piece of artwork. And maybe another mouse. Oh, yes. Jackpot. Uh, Nenedian vase. Okay. Oh. I'll drop that. Okay. At least it's only one spot. Yeah, it's a mouse. Hey, yo! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okie dokie, and I'll leave that because we can get more. Wait. This is more important. Uh, let's go up. See if there's anything else to find here. This has been a really good place so far. I mean, besides the dead bodies and stuff. Good for scavenging, I'll say that. No one... It's locked! Can I get up here? No! Is that the end? i to try from the other side, she says. Oh, can't go out there. That might be it then. Don't know how to get there. Bad. Damn. Well, that's that. We got pretty much everything we can carry anyway. I was just hoping there might be a little bit more wood, but that's fine. Got an artifact too. Maybe Reuben will be happy. See that we, we managed to save a few more things. Alright, the night was calm, Reuben is pale, he is severely sick, at least he's not terminally sick. Arya is exhausted. Alright, Reuben severely ill, still very hungry, hungry. Okay, um, we have a lot of wood now, well not a lot, but a fair amount of wood that we can make a bed. There was a massacre in the Samuel Institute. I saw many dead bodies there. The priceless artwork smashed to pieces. These people were no threat to anyone. Just a helpful community trying to find their way through this horror. Why did this happen to them? Why did this happen to them? Let's make a bed. Uh, we're going to have to sleep here. All the way up here. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to sleep for a bit until she's not exhausted anymore. And then after that, I'll make some food. Um, oh my god, it's minus one degrees. Ah. <sighs> I wish there was a way to speed up time. That's one thing this game is missing. Okay, now she's only very tired, so... Now she can at least run. Come on. You should be able to run. Oh well. We need to do these things before the day ends, otherwise we are kind of stuffed, so... 
Uh, so I need two fuel for that. I'll make that. You know what? I'll just eat this. There's no point in making food. And I'll just put all of it on the heater. Uh, how hungry is he? He's only hungry. Okay. Eat one of these. Nice. Put two on that. Now she can run. Okay. Hallelujah. And then you can just sleep the rest of the day, I guess. Oh, we can get some more veggies, maybe. Why not? Even if we don't eat that stuff, we could potentially use it. Wait, hold on a sec. Do I need to give this guy meds? Probably do need to give this guy meds. Because he's still severely ill. Forgot about that. And I'll talk to him. Getting better. I think so. Nice to have someone around. Parents died when I was a little... Ah, oh, okay, we're telling him. Okay. Get some rest. We're not going to make it in time. That's fine. We got plenty for the time being. <laughs> so close. <laughs> um, so we visited all of these places. There's nothing we can get from there. Because... We don't have a lockpick. Nothing we can get from there. So, I might as well sleep. At least, just, you know, get a bit better. And then hopefully this place will open up harsh weather conditions. Yeah, let's just stay. Feeling much better. Nice. He got out of bed. Oh my god. He's very hungry though. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Now we can actually do some things. Hungry. Uh... Well, I mean... You can eat the canned food. Hungry and sad. We don't have any more. Ah. Hungry, sick and sad. Well, you could take the herbal med. Probably. Maybe I'll just make one. can't build anything because we just have no wood. Wood is the one thing that we just have none of. Uh, I don't know if it's, if it's a good idea to move or to stay. I really don't know. I have no idea what will happen. Is like he can obviously move now. Yeah. Okay. If he's sick, he probably should still sleep, shouldn't he? So then he can get a bit better. 
that I was recovering. It's so cold though. Someone's at the door. All right, let's go have a look. It's our friend. We have a lot of things to trade. If he wants to give us some wood, I mean, I will take all of it. All right. Uh, we'll have a chat first. You got any news? Harder than ever. Harsh winter driving people to the edge. Army attacks are more frequent. Soldiers have started to enter the city. They're carrying out cleansing raids, targeting churches and other important places. The city hall fell last night. People are freezing and starving. Soon I won't have anything to trade or people to trade with. Alright, better take what we can then. Uh, I'll take all of that. He's got a mixer. That's interesting. But not much else. I'll take that. Wait, do I need a mixer? I don't think I need a mixer. Nah. <laughs> Can't trade eyes. Uh, do I even want anything from him? Not even one single water. Well, three is not bad. I'll take that. Let's see. Yeah, I could preemptively get some bandages and food, but I don't know if I should, because then what if he comes back with something good? But also, what if this is the last time that I have a chance to actually get that stuff? He doesn't have meds though, I would take meds if he had them. I think I'll, I think I'll be okay for now. Thanks Franco. That's probably good enough, three on each. I'm not tired. Alright, well, we've done everything that we can do today so i'm just going to end the day Alrighty, guys i'm going to have to leave it there for today thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the episode leave a like if you did and i'll see you guys next time take care